Isn't it satisfying to see an angry, rude Karen get hit by karma? Well, we've got a perfect video for you then. Just sit back and watch as these Karens annoy other people and then learn that their actions have consequences. Watch this Karen get absolutely wrecked by two guys after he accuses them of going 50 miles per hour on a two-stroke bike. What did he do wrong? Going 50 miles an hour. 50 miles an hour. Just drive off. 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 I don't care what it is. We have little kids. So stop being dramatic. I'm not. Oh, you stop dramatic. being dramatic. How? We're not 50. You were doing 50. <laughs> 50, we right. 50 Two minutes. stroke. Two yeah, stroke on a 50. That, that doesn't even question. go 50. Yeah, right. That what doesn't even that? go 50. That goes 15. Karen loves the environment so much that she's willing to jump over a fence and trespass into someone else's property. Yeah. Luckily, the guy puts her oh, in her God. place. Uh, I renovated my garden. Is it real grass? No, it's, no, it's not real grass. It's artificial. Well, it's actually admitted it. What? Admitted what? Well, that it's not real grass. I mean, we have people, we had neighbours here for years and years that kept this beautiful lawn really, really nice. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and it was really nice. It was nice for all the flora and fauna, for the birds and squirrels. And now, you've just gone and wrecked it all up and ruined everything. Well, yeah, because, because I've renovated my garden. Yeah, but that's not renovating. You've destroyed things that have been here for years. Well, no, well, like, wh why is it your problem and why are you in my back garden? Because I live next door and it affects me. Okay. It affects all the other neighbours. So, Solomon, have you, uh, did you jump over my fence? Uh, I, I just kind of got in here, yeah. Okay, so, 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 okay, so you've now admitted, yeah, breaking into my house firstly, yeah? Well, I'm not in your house, I'm just looking at the lawn. Because yeah. Because your, your lawn backs onto my lawn. Okay, but it's not your business though, is it? Yeah, but all, like, the, all the bees have stopped coming over and okay. all, the, all the birds and all the squirrels. Okay, well that's good for them though, isn't it? It's, it's winter time, it's time for them to go sleep and hibernate. Well no, but it wasn't really your part. I mean, what kind of idiot actually goes and just rips up a lawn and puts that down? It's just completely stupid. It's not stupid, is it? I, like, I didn't want to maintain it. One. It's been maintained for the last 50 years. Well, it? well, yeah, like... <laughs> I've only moved here like a year ago, okay, yeah? and like I wanted to do it up. And like if you see them trees over there as well, we're gonna get rid of them as well. Well, it looks great to me. Well, like, are you gonna pay for the gardener? Of course not. You see them trees over there as well, we're gonna get rid of them as well. You're gonna get rid of them? Yeah. Why? Because we don't want them trees there. You know, there are conservation orders around here and you can't just get rid of everything that you want. Well, I can actually back there because the back part is mine. Right. So, so, so I can. You're very disappointed. You've only, you haven't been here very long, have you? Well, no, I haven't. But, but like, even if... even if, even if, if I, likes to have everything how it was traditionally. Okay, like but, traditionally. yeah, but this is my back garden. This is my home. Why have you jumped over your fence to then come here? Because it was disturbing me. It was disturbing you, the fact that I've got fake grass? Yeah. Well, that's, that's insane. Like, like you've basically uh, climbed on my property because I've got fake grass. Do you know how silly that sounds? It's not silly. It's, uh, it's the truth. I don't think this looks very nice, and I don't think it's very nice for our neighbourhood either. Well, like, you know I what? I suggest that you change your back. How am I going to change your back? You get some up, you can just... Take it off and just put the other cross back in. Well, no. This Karen has a problem when some guys throw snowballs at her car. So what does she get in return? One more snowball right at her car. Sometimes, while Karen is waiting for the cops to arrive, she would chase after the kids herself. She never really succeeds, but hey, you can always try again, Karen.
Okay, guys, cool. Keep going. <laughs> Damn, bro. So Karen does try again. This time, she snatches the skateboard and refuses to give it back. But then just watch what these kids do. Nice try, Karen, but you might need to pick up the pace a little bit. That's not. not. Give us the board right. back. No. Give us the board this back. This is private property. Right. I live here. I asked you not to do it. Okay. And you did it anyway. Give us the board. So I'm going to go call 911. The sheriff will come and just you give can us the get board. it back. Right, just no. Just give us the board. Look. Just give us the board I and leave. I asked you not nicely. Just give my I was board. being nice. It's so obnoxious. Just stealing people's stuff. But coming over here and ruining people's property is not obnoxious. Go ahead. Yeah. My name's Carol. I'm the manager. Okay? I'll just get the sledgehammer and just there, now you got some funny. Send yeah. that to the... I'll go get a sledgehammer and just go like this. Okay. That's what you know you can do board. that when not call the sheriff. Do not touch me. That's not unreasonable. I'm touching my no. board. Touching you're my trespassing, board. and the only way you're going to stay least. here while the sheriff... Give us the board and we'll leave. Just give me my board back. Me. Give us the board and we'll Unless leave. Unless you want to be... Arrested for assault. Just give Don't us the board. Just, just give us the board. board. Please, Excuse just me. give us the board. We'll leave. Excuse You're me. just taking it too far. I, I work very back. hard here, 24 hours a day. If you do that, okay, now I am calling. Stop, give us the board. Just stop. Excuse me. I'll oh. leave if you give me my board. Just give us the board. Give us the board. You spent $120 on that skateboard. Oh, I'm so Please. sorry. Damn, I'll get out of my way. Just give us the right board. Right now. Just give us the board. No. Please, just give us the board and we'll leave. Little bastard! Oh no! Get the fuck. Sorry! Karen wants no ice, so she gets no ice. Your wish is our command, Karen. Oh, you don't want no ice? I'm so sorry! Bye. So this next Karen shows up at a family's Christmas party completely uninvited and very nicely is told to get out. Whoa. What? In, in, in the house? In this next clip, Karen feels like she has the duty to tell people what to do after a woman parks her car at the wrong spot for two minutes just to send a text. But I was just pulling over for a moment so I could send a message, and now I have a Karen here sitting and, you know, hitting my window. Oh, God bless you, Karens. Karen calls the cops to arrest someone for coming into her private property, and instead the cops just arrest her. Oh, Karen, you never learn. Here. The driver that rolled that's with my EMS driver right now, okay. in the back of the EMS rig? Um, no, that wasn't that bad. Really? Let me tell you right here. Finish her. Finish her.
Sexual at all? White wine. Yeah? I was in your You're office? Welcome. That's funny. Yeah, I can tell. Can you? What do you get from us? Get from what? I'm gonna get from them, not you. Yeah, handcuffs. Absolutely. And <laughs> yeah. hey, she don't go to jail. She going to jail. I would never stop with her accent ever again. This bitch flipped this dude's truck. Ran down the street and parked in her garage. We going to jail. Felony hit and run? Oh, yeah. DUI? Watch this, Karen, go into someone's private driveway with a camera and that pretentious attitude. And then, very quickly, she realizes that some people are not to be messed with. Um, just for evidence, don't worry. What? Um, I, I wanted to let you know that we've been chatting. There's no washing your car in the driveway. There's no rule. That's not an HOA neighborhood. Yeah, well, we have a group of people here, and it may not be a real HOA, but it's a, it's a club, and you, we think it's trashy. We're going to get you evicted from Let me here. Explain something to you. Number one is, oh, don't come into my. I'm not sure why you're advancing on me, sir. I'm advancing on you because you're in my driveway. 
in the state of Florida, let me tell you something. If you come in my domain, you can cause yourself some problems, okay? You can take that any way you want to. Okay, sir. Well, you, you, I, can wash I, my truck I feel in my like driveway. you're scaring fact, me. I'm, I'm calling the. Karen really wants this guy arrested, but once he points out that she is the one illegally parked, she has no choice but to get back into her car and drive away. I said, you're illegally parked. I got you right on film, illegally parked. Look at you, illegally parked, stalking people in their houses. Illegally parked. I'm going to follow you everywhere. I don't care. I'll follow you everywhere. I'm on it. I don't care. I don't care. Film me all you want. I'm going to be the guy that says you were illegally parked in our neighborhood. You're stalking people, filming them. Stop your no, face. you're stalking people, Stop filming your them. Face. You're stalking oh, people, on, filming them. You you're your stalking face? people, oh, filming them. Time. You're stalking them, filming them. And you're hiding yourself. You're sitting in curbs in illegal red zones. In front of, look at this. Got out of your car while it's running. That's illegal too. I thought you were parking enforcement. But you do illegal stuff. I'm just going to go around. Do your job now that you wanted to be rude to me. Do your job now that you wanted to be rude. This Karen tries causing a ruckus at a store and gets escorted out by security. She opened the line over there. Now she want to take my shit. Now she want to take my shit. How's it going? I got money. Go ahead. You can talk to her. Okay, what happened? I called you. What happened? I called you last time I was here. Last month. Last month I was here. I don't know who she confused me with. And I'm standing here in the car. Right here. This whole thing is full. She came from the back of the counter. Came over here. Oh, she stood right here. Take out what you got in the bag. Like I was stealing. I got money. I got money to pay everything I owe. But I was dumbfounded. I, I, I couldn't believe this lady embarrassed yeah. me like that. I did that. But nonetheless, I paid my shit and left. I came today. You're going to stand back there and tell me and take everything out of my bag. Then I take everything out of my bag. I tell her you, you want to check it? You can check it. But no, she didn't come like the last time. She didn't come from in back of the counter. She sent you to do it. No, you didn't do that. You did. You disrespected me the last time I was here. This she disrespected me. She disrespected me. She don't like to be disrespected. I want my stuff. They don't want your customer service. They don't want you. You know why? You a bitch. You a bitch. And guess what? And guess what? It's cool. Because the next one you do a fucking shit like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna throw her. You don't have to get in her face. Yo, son. I got you. I got you. Stick it up your ass. Stick it up your ass, you fucking stupid bitch! Come for me! I got you! Come for me! Stick it up your ass! I hope it's big enough! You fucking bitch! I hope the devil takes you! And I'll play on that! No, I'm not! You know why? You know why? Because... I believe in God. I believe in God. I'm not going to throw nothing. I'm, I believe that there's a God up there. And I believe that you're going to get yours. You fucking stupid bitch. Do it to somebody else. Not because she's going to call over there. But I'm a fucking get you. You fucking bitch. You know, for Karen, cops are always on speed dial. But as soon as this Karen is told to call the cops, he just runs away. We are here. This is a parking spot. You are in front of the parking spot. So call them. Call 911. See what the police officer say. Call them, please. Call them. Yeah. Call them. Because we were here. You trying to hold the parking spot.
This Karen thinks she can just yell at the store employees and they'll sit there and not say anything. Instead, watch this store employee come up with the absolute perfect responses to get Karen to shut up. I'm in your dumb half brain cells. You need to shut your mouth. It's what you should do right about now, bitch. Okay. Do you have a name? Because by tomorrow, you're not going to have a job. Natalia, what is your name? Natalia? 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 Hega. It's a household name. This is a fun one. So Karen slaps a woman's phone out of her hand in front of the cops, and then she gets arrested. Maybe she'll think twice before doing that again. She really had the nerves to slap my phone out of my hand right in front of the cop. No, I did not. Stop fucking lying. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. This Karen on the train calls people racial slurs off camera and then gets a little shy when asked to do it on camera. But no worries, she gets reported to security anyway. So next time, watch your words, Karen. Say it one more time. Come on, I'm sure you want to say it. <laughs> yeah, she grabbed, she, she uh, grabbed me and called me the N-word. There was a seat. She needs to go. I would call the police if I wouldn't touch her. She's not gonna. She's not gonna leave willingly. She hit you. I think she. She hit this. This Karen likes to call people racial slurs when she's angry, but then she gets mad when people get on camera and post it online. This is going online. We got the N-word. I don't care. We got the Philip. Every day. Every day. We hear it every day. It has nothing to do with you guys. It has nothing to do with you. I think you guys just want to say the N-word. Sometimes Karen likes to show off her physical strength, like in this next clip where she lunges at the car window and demands her keys back. In the end, the guy just shuts the window and drives away. I will let, I will back off. Can you let go, please? Give me my keys. Can you please go, ma'am? Like you being mad annoying right now. All you gotta do is wait till the cops come. This Karen loves yelling at the top of his lungs and calling the cops. He doesn't realize it, but he ends up looking like a drunk, unstable dude. Who the f do you think you are? 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 I need cops here right now. Give me a cop. Give me f jobs in our Hennessy, please, right now! So we're having a good day? Dana Point! Oh my this God, guy just made me cry today, man. So we're having a great day? I'm, I'm done now. Just please give me a f***. Hey, just give me a cop. I'm alright. I'm in trouble. I am. No, I'm not. Please give me a cop. Please give me a cop. Where's my card? You threw it out of your hand. Give me my card. You grab it. I'm not touching. Yo! <laughs> grab it. Grab your card. What, man? Grab your card. You just the gear weirdo. You're the one who grabbed the chicks. Out, weirdo. You grabbed the chicks out of him. So who's ass did I grab? The server. Who's so ass? Got your card. So in this final clip. Karen decides that it's time to have a screaming match with a store employee. Little did she know, in the end, she'll be told to get out or the store would call the cops. So that's it. Karen's getting what they deserve. Call it revenge, call it karma, but it's cute when they think they can be rude to other people and think they can get away with it.